The film opens in an underground fighting circuit, with Carter Ford dominating the ring, while a tavern owner named Frankie keeps a close watch. After Carter defeats his opponent, Elwood Dalton steps into the ring. Recognizing Dalton, Carter declines to fight him, allowing Dalton to still collect the money without a bout. Outside, a man stabs Dalton after losing $500 in the fight. However, upon realizing Dalton's indifference, the man flees. Frankie approaches Dalton as he tends to his wound, mentioning that she manages a roadhouse bar called The Roadhouse in the Florida village of Glass Key. She offers Dalton a job as a bouncer. Although initially hesitant, Dalton eventually agrees due to a lack of other options in his life. Dalton arrives at Glass Key and encounters Charlie, a teenage bookstore owner, and her father, Stephen. They offer Dalton a free book and guide him to the roadhouse. Upon arrival, before starting his work, he engages in conversation with co-workers Billy and Laura. At night, Dalton observes Billy and the other male staff handling rowdy customers. Shortly after, a motorcycle gang led by Dell enters and begins to intimidate both the employees and the patrons. Despite Dalton's attempts to peacefully communicate with Dell, he only provokes him further. Dalton steps outside and approaches the gang's motorcycles, enticing them out before confronting Dell. Despite Dell's threats, Dalton remains composed and eventually incapacitates him, along with the rest of the bikers. Dalton then personally escorts the gang members to the hospital. As he exits, he is reprimanded by a doctor named Ellie for bringing them in, as they take precedence over other patients. However, after charming her, she tends to his injuries. Dalton rests on a boat on the lake, while Frankie informs him about a nearby crocodile. As Dalton sleeps, he dreams of his final round as a UFC fighter. Meanwhile, Dell and his thugs arrive on a boat owned by Mafia leader Ben Brandt, their employer. They recount Dalton's actions, including scrubbing the floor alongside them. Concerned about Dalton's potential threat to his business in town, Brandt orders them to eliminate Dalton by any means necessary. Dalton soon realizes that the villagers recognize him, and other thugs back off when they spot him. He takes it upon himself to educate Billy and the other staff on how to handle aggressive customers. Dalton demonstrates his expertise by identifying a person with a concealed weapon and promptly disarming him before escorting him out of the establishment. After enduring a grueling night at work, Dalton begins his walk home, only to be targeted by Dell and his gang attempting to run him over with Dell's girlfriend's truck. They succeed in knocking Dalton off the bridge, but he miraculously survives the fall. Upon reaching his destination, Dalton finds Dell lying in wait armed with a pistol. Dalton confronts him once more, eventually overpowering him and causing him to plummet into the sea. Despite Dalton's efforts to assist Dell, a crocodile swiftly claims him. Dalton eventually becomes aware of the illicit activities happening in town through Charlie. As he exits the bookshop, a couple of Brant's henchmen try to force Dalton to go with them, but he swiftly breaks the fingers of one who brandishes a revolver. Brant realizes that Dalton is not easily subdued, a realization shared even by his incarcerated father, Gerald, who understands Dalton's resilience. Gerald directs Knox, his most ferocious and ruthless enforcer, to travel to Glass Key and handle Dalton. This decision follows Knox's public escapade in Italy, where he caused chaos by roaming the streets naked after an affair with a married woman, assaulting a man for his jacket, and setting a business ablaze. Upon arriving at Brant's house, Knox informs him of his father's employment, a development that neither Brant nor his criminal associates welcome. Meanwhile, Dalton goes on a date with Ellie, who takes him out on her ex's boat in the sea. During their outing, Ellie reveals that she is aware of Dalton's concealed past, something he has been trying to keep under wraps. Despite his initial intentions to leave, Ellie persuades him to stay, and their evening ends with a kiss. Later, Dalton is found by Sheriff Big Dick and his ruthless police force. The sheriff demands Dalton to leave town, issuing a stern warning, but Dalton refuses. The officers escalate the situation by subjecting Dalton to abuse, with Dick even preparing to take his life, until Ellie arrives and intervenes. She confronts her father, slapping him, and takes Dalton away with her. 
Ellie then reveals to Dalton that Dick is her father and is in cahoots with Brandt. Realizing the danger he's in, Ellie strongly advises Dalton to leave town for his own safety. That night at the roadhouse, Brandt confronts Dalton, taunting him about his past in the UFC. It is revealed that Dalton quit the sport after accidentally killing his opponent in the ring, despite the fight being officially called off. Dalton has been haunted by this incident ever since. After Brandt leaves, Knox storms in, causing chaos by attacking Billy and the other patrons. Dalton intervenes, and a brawl ensues between him and Knox. Despite Knox proving to be a formidable opponent, he is taken aback when Dalton refuses to stay down after a severe beating. Ellie arrives just in time to provide medical aid and support to Dalton. As Dalton begins to leave town, he notices the bookshop on fire, which was set by Brant's thugs Sam and Vince. Dalton is informed that Charlie and Stephen are in the hospital but alive. He finds Vince, who threatens him with a gun until Dalton strikes his throat, causing his trachea to collapse and eventually suffocating him. While disposing of the body, Dalton notices Mo, a member of Dell's group who is the least corrupt of them all. Mo informs Dalton about a meeting Brant and his thugs would have early the next day. Dalton walks to the ocean and discovers one of Dick's dishonest deputies transferring a huge case of money onto a boat. He knocks the deputy unconscious and places Vince's body next to him to frame him for his death. The sheriff finds Dalton and warns him that Brant has kidnapped Ellie. Dalton arrives at Brant's yacht and finds Dick there with him, prompting him to deduce that Dick purposefully enticed him aboard the boat. However, Brant reveals that he actually kidnapped Ellie. Before the goons can gang up on him, Dalton sets fire to the boat he arrived on, which belonged to Ellie's ex, to create chaos. The boat begins to sink, and Dalton fights off the thugs before locating Ellie. She bursts through the window and escapes with Dalton. Knox arrives in a skiff boat and attempts to finish off Dalton, while Brant captures Ellie and transports her to a motorboat. Dalton manages to board the motorboat, but Knox falls. Dalton engages in a fierce battle with Brant, causing the motorboat to crash near the roadhouse, with Brant landing on its roof. Meanwhile, Knox climbs out of the water and steals a vehicle, crashing it into the roadhouse. When Brant orders Knox to kill Dalton, Knox breaks Brant's neck instead. Dalton and Knox then engage in a second round of combat, with Knox proving to be formidable once again. However, Dalton gains the upper hand and incapacitates Knox by stabbing him with wooden shards until he is defeated. Dick appears and offers to cover for Dalton in gratitude for saving Ellie. She and Dalton share one final gaze before he departs. Frankie, Billy, Laura, and the others then begin to clean up the wreckage of the roadhouse while still keeping it open for business. Just before departing, Dalton stops by the bookstore to see Charlie and Stephen once more. He bids them farewell and hands them the cash bag he retrieved from the deputy. Dalton then boards a bus to his next destination. During the credits, it is revealed that Knox has survived the fight. He overpowers the doctors and walks out of the hospital wearing only a gown. 